Hey guys, it's Davy the Portal Guy with OmegaBit.com uh, here to show you a couple more features about Life Ray Portal. We're going to blow through the basics of uh, the controls on a portlet and uh, the reason I say that is because there's sort of a lot of detail here that would be tough to squeeze into a couple minute segment. So we're going to get in uh, much deeper on some of the stuff when we talk about how we're going to stylize the site and how we want to manipulate content on the page. But one of the things you'll notice when you log in as a, uh, a privileged user in the system is that you get these controls on the top of the portlet. And uh, what they do is let you do some pretty neat things with the portlet itself to set the rules for um, this guy, for example. So if I pick the look and feel portlet uh, uh, link, excuse me, it lets me do some important stuff. For one, I can not only set the title that's the equivalent of clicking up here, but it lets me set it if I have the portal set up to support localized instances, uh, sites that would represent different language versions of the content, then I can set those different versions of the title text here and it will apply accordingly when a, when a user visits and indicates that they would prefer that version of the content. There's a couple ways they can do that. Um, this also lets me set the basic style rules for the content inside of this portlet container. So the text, uh, I could set the background and do all sorts of damage and bodily harm to people. Let's see here. Um, uh, I can also set the rules that dictate uh, how this stuff gets dressed. And obviously, um, for somebody who's got uh, a better sense of aesthetic than I, you can do some pretty creative stuff to sort of manipulate what's going on with the portlet there. Um, another useful cheat is uh, margin and padding is particularly handy. One of the cool things about the portlets is you can turn off all of this dressing around the outside of the portlet and basically just have it be uh, a hole in the page that represents content and we can do all sorts of neat stuff inside of that hole to get creative with the page layout. Um, when you do that, sometimes it's useful to be able to cheat the position of the portlet a little bit to make it work better within the confines of how you want to organize that stuff on the page. And so this tab is particularly useful for manipulating that stuff. There's also a place to actually inject CSS on the fly. If I click this box and drop CSS in here, I can actually get pretty creative with the, what I'm doing with the theme to override things that are already set as part of the default rules. Now, there's lots of ways to get uh, creative with the styling of the site and also some neat tricks for um, developing the theme uh, in line in the context of the portal page and then baking it into a theme package once you're ready to roll that stuff up. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, Life Rate has WAP support, which is awesome if you are uh, interested in building site content that's going to be consumed by um, users on a WAP uh, style device. Particularly handy. So uh, you could do things like set the title and a couple of other uh, details about um, how the content shows up and uh, a good thing to experiment with if you're going after that style of mobile market. Um, another point of interest under the controls is the configuration and this lets me set some important stuff. Uh, it, it lets me, um, among other things, actually lets me archive versions of the, of the portal configuration itself and the portlet configuration itself. Depending on the portlet I'm working with, these options can change a little bit. But um, uh, one of particular interest is uh, permissions which lets me set rules about who can use the portlet and obviously um, manipulating the rules for sign-in is probably less useful than others but uh, lets me set up uh, dictate whether or not people can see content inside the portlet and what they can do with it depending on the nature of that portlet. Sharing is also cool because uh, it lets me drop portlet content in elsewhere using a snippet of JavaScript and once we start to create more content on the page, it's going to be very useful for propagating that content to other sites. So all uh, important places to poke around and get more familiar with. And um, as you start to make more use of the portal, if you're looking for a place to store uh, your life ray and actually to work with the environment, uh, we'd love to be your host. Please join us at omegabit.com, www.omegabit.com, or call us at 877 411-2220 for more information on how you can host your life rate with us. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks for your time.